So we have had this Dyson V6 handheld vacuum for several years. Uh, we bought it uh, uh, on Black Friday one year and uh, we got a good deal on it and we've replaced the filters a few times. You know, these little filters here. This is a brand new one we put in recently. And I've also replaced this bin. I bought a new one from Dyson because the old one had cracked. But now uh, the battery has been really good for us and has lasted for a long time, but it's time to replace it. It is not lasting any longer. With the Dyson handheld vacuums, you have the max power button here and we don't run it on max we just run it on regular and it's not holding a charge any longer for at least a minute that's about it so we're actually going to give it a shot and see what this fully charged battery right now how long it's going to last and then we're going to change this with a brand new dyson battery from dyson I know you can get these replacement batteries on Amazon uh, a lot less than what this one cost, but um, I've also heard that if you just go with the original equipment, the original equipment um, is going to last longer than the replacement. And I think that the replacement battery itself has a warranty as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll put um, in the description what I found out about that. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here with my finger on the trigger and see how long this thing lasts. Again, this is a fully charged battery and we'll see how long that goes and then we're going to replace the old one. <laughs> I was going to show that it was not on max and uh, that's it. It's dead. So the fact that we've just exhausted this battery um, is neither here nor there. When it comes to replacing the battery, because you can't switch these off, uh, you want to be sure that it is disconnected from the power where it's going to recharge. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this little button here one, down once and it'll open up the bin and then you hit it again and that will unlock the bin and you can pull the bin right off. And a little dirt came out of there because it's a used vacuum. So you have two screws, two Phillips head screws. One is here and the other one is right there. And they're very small but when you do get your replacement battery from Dyson it will come with two new screws. So we'll take a look in there. And there you go. There's your two new screws. So we're going to take the old battery off first. There you go. Alright. And then the other one up front here, which is why we took the bin off. That's two. And then the battery pops out like that. So, bring this down here. Move off to the side. And we'll move that to, or unbox. I've not done an unboxing. Silica gel, do not eat. There's the new bag. Like so. And as I said, you can get a cheaper replacement battery on Amazon. I paid $95 for this battery. Do I feel that it's a lot of money? Yes, I do. But at the same time, to have the original equipment, it's a personal choice, and I've chosen to go with the Dyson battery. So, in the handle there, you can see it's really simple. Just slide that right up in there, it clicks, 
and then we're going to take the two new screws and we're going to put this thing back together. back on just find up top there's a little notch we're gonna just get that up there line it all up snap it in and make sure the lid is closed and you are good to go the battery comes partially charged from Dyson so you're gonna want to charge this completely before you use it again That's it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.